So for this problem, we're given a composite shape that's made of two triangles and a rectangle, and we are asked to find the x and y coordinates for the centroid and the x and y coordinates for the center of gravity. So if you look over on find, I'm using x bar and y bar for the centroid and then x bar g and y bar g um, for the uh, center of gravity. The other way you might see it is x bar c and y bar c uh, to uh, positively identify that you're talking about the centroid. So I've already set up the table for this um, and really the point of this example is to show you that uh, the centroid and center of gravity problems don't really get any more complicated, uh, they just get longer, right? So I'm not going to do the equations inside the table because again with so many it starts to get a little sloppy. So uh, we're just going to jump ahead and get started on it. So solution. So when I have as much as this, the way I like to break it up is to just do each shape one at a time. So I'm going to start with A. So A is a right triangle. So the centroid, we can go ahead and draw it, should be right around there. And then we can go ahead and draw the others too for a good measure while we're at it. So for a right triangle that's facing the way it is, the X position for the centroid is two times the base over three. We can see that the base of that triangle is three, so two times three over three is equal to two. And then for the y position of the centroid, our base equation is the height over three. So the height of that triangle is four, gives us 1.33. Uh, area for a triangle is one half base times height, gives us one half times three times four, uh, which is going to be equal to 6. Uh, the weight, we can look at it and see that the weight is 5 pounds. Um, and then we can do x times a, uh, which is going to be 2 times 6 is 12. x times w, which is going to be 2 times 5 is 10. y times a uh, is 1.33 times 6 y times w, 1.33 times 5. So 1.33 times 6 oops, uh, is going to be 8. And then 1.33 times 5 is going to be 6.66 6, uh, with some rounding. So then we go ahead and we can just add all those into our table to 1.33. Uh, area was 6, weight 5, x times a 12, x times w 10, y times a 8, and 6.66. So then we move on to shape B. So shape B is our rectangle. Uh, so again, we can notice the base equation for centroid of a rectangle is just base over 2. However, remember, that's always measured from uh, the bottom left corner. And the bottom left corner of that rectangle is at x equals 3. So we have to add that on there. It's going to give us 3 plus the base. Uh, it goes from 3 to 5, so the base is 2. Uh, so that gives us a centroid position of 4. Yi is going to be height over 2, which is 3.5 over 2, which is going to be 1.75. Area of a rectangle, base times height, uh, 2 times 3.5 is 7. The weight, we can just read it off, uh, is 6 pounds. Um, X times A gives us 4 times 7, uh, which is equal to 28. X times W, 4 times 6, which is 24 y times a, which is going to be 1.75 times 7, uh, which is going to give us 12.25. And then y times w is going to be 1.75 times 6, which is going to give us 10 and a half. So again, take all those and transcribe them into our table. Four. 1.75, 7, 6, 28, 
12.125 and 10.5. All right, and then last up uh, is our triangle, so shape C. Uh, if we look at it, the uh, base equation for the triangle, uh, X is going to be base over 3. However, again, the triangle starts at X equals 5, so 5 plus. Uh, we look at the base, the base is 3, so 3 over 3 gives us 6. Um, base equation for Y, H over 3, it's 3.5 tall. Um, so 3.5 over 3 is going to give us 1.17. Uh, area, one half base times height, one half times the base is three, the height is 3.5. That's going to give us an area of 5.25. The weight, uh, we just look at it, 20 pounds, it's written on there. And then we do XI, AI is going to be six times 5.25, xi times wi is going to be 6 times 20, so that's 120, and then 6 times 5 and a quarter is 31.5, and then yiai is 1.17 times 5.25, YIWI is 1.17 times 20. So 1.17 times 5.25 gives us 6.14. And then 1.17 times 20 gives us 23.4. So again, transcribe all of that into our table. So 6, 1.17, 5.25, 20. 31.5, 120, 6.14, 23.4. So now we're going to need to sum uh, most of these columns. So 6 plus 7 plus 5.25 gives us 18.25. Uh, 5 and 6 and 20 is 31. 12 and 28 and 31.5 is 71.5, uh, 10 plus 24 plus 120 gives us 154, uh, 8 plus 12.125 plus 6.14 gives us 26.27, and then 6.66 plus 10.5 plus 23.4 gives us 40.56. Okay, so then the last equations we need is going to be the x position of the centroid is going to be the sum of the x times a's over the sum of the areas. The y position of the centroid is going to be the sum of the y times a's over the sum of the a's. And then the x position of the center of gravity is going to be the sum of the x times w's over the sum of the weights. y position of center of gravity, the sum of y positions times weights over sum of the weights. So we can go ahead and grab those from our tables. Uh, so for the centroid, we're going to use 71.5 and 18.25. So 71.5 over 18.25. Then for Y, we're going to have 26.27 over 18.25. And then for center of gravity, we'll have 154 over 31. And uh, 40.56 over 31. Now, the very last thing, some last calculator calculations, we get the centroid at 3.92, uh, 
the y position of the centroid as 26.27 divided by 18.25 gives us 1.44 and then the x position of the center of gravity 154 over 31 gives us 4.97 and then for the y position 40.56 over 31 gives us 1.31 okay now the last step for all these problems always is to plot everything to make sure it makes sense so the centroid i'm going to plot in red so centroid should be at 3.92 comma 1.44 so 3.92 brings us about over to here and 1.44 brings us probably about to like here so that put the centroid right there and then i'll plot the uh, center of gravity in blue should be at 4.97 comma 1.31 so we go 4.97 uh, 1.31 center of gravity hey both of those kind of make sense they're on the object it makes sense that the center of gravity is pulled further to the right towards that 20 pound triangle um, so both of those check out and so that is all you should get for that. And again, all of these numbers for this problem are on the slide uh, to make sure that you can follow along with it as well.